Let's catch some fish. There's one. Welcome to Big Cats Fishing Mississippi. We are catching some slab crappie, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. The fall bites on. I'll show you how I fillet fish with a cordless bubba blade. These things are awesome. Makes cleaning fish really easy. You've never tried crappie? You've got to try them. They are delicious. We're catching some nice crappie, and we are loading the boat. And this is gonna be fun. Can't wait to show you. Let's go fishing. These first couple of fish, I had to use my live scope from my graph because the active captain wasn't showing up. A little bit later in the video, I've got some excellent live scope footage with active captain, so stay tuned. You can see right here, this fish is about to eat it. There's one, 859. <clears throat> Get in the boat, a nice black crappie, buddy, he thumped it. Now would be a great time to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe, share the video, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Some surgery on this one. Choked it. The live scope footage on Active Captain is much better, and I'm, I'm going to have some of that a little bit later in the video. <clears throat> 13 and a half. Here's how I measure them. I just grab them on the back with my right hand and put them down here like this. <clears throat> Oh, actually, yeah, he's almost 14 inches. Nice black crappie. Look at that. Mm -mm. All right, here's a nice crappie. I dropped that jig right outside the boat six feet away dropping down there is a nice crappie right there there you see my jig and weight above it is he gonna eat it oh just missed him dang that's a good one too get your soft plastic lined up get that jig back out there in a hurry there's the jig about 24 feet from the boat See it dropping down, moving to the left side of the screen. Just went over a big crappie. He wasn't interested. So reel it up, throw it back out there again as soon as possible. About 34 feet from the boat, see it dropping down. Now it's right on top of a big crappie and he didn't even see it, I don't believe, or he sure wasn't interested. Reel it up there. Get it back out again. Sure is a nice looking crappie. There's the jig about 20 feet from the boat, right on top of a crappie. And he was not interested. So reel it up there and throw it out again. Got to get it lined up just right. And then you gotta get lucky. There's the jig. Dropped 40 feet out. Now it's right on top of a nice size crappie. Is he gonna eat it? Nope. Dang. Reel it up. Throw it out there again. They see the jig about 37 feet from the boat. You can't really see it, but it just went on top of that big crappie. He peeled off and he's looking at it. Now he's chasing it. And boom, he ate it. There's one. 916. Couldn't resist it. I was hoping he'd come get it. Dang. Couldn't really see him eat it though. Get in the boat. Nice one. Oh, white crappie. It's like a choke. Gosh, no. 13, 13 and a quarter. Look at that white crappie. Mm, yeah. Put this little bad boy right there. I changed up and put on that um, Bobby Garland monkey milk. Baby Shad Swimmer by Pinched Off the Tail. 
It's got a little jointed body there, and I think they like it. It's got a little bit more movement. There's a nice crappie, 15 feet from the boat, 12 feet deep. There you see my jig and weight dropping down to it. Is he going to eat it? Come on. He turned. He's looking up. Boom, he ate it. There's one, 10, 17. Get in the boat. Nice black crappie. That's what I'm talking about. And that's a nice crappie right there. Mm. Thirteen and a half. Black crappie. Thirteen and a half. Look at that sucker. Mm. Alright, there's some nice looking crappie, 22 feet from the boat, 10 feet deep, there's two of them, there's my jig right, right on top of one of them, and I didn't get a good throw on him, he wasn't interested, so get it out there and throw it right back to him, there's the jig dropping down, missed the first one, but he's right on top of that second one, oh my goodness, he wasn't interested, saw some more fish, so I dropped it down to them, they weren't interested, so when that happens, reel it up quickly and get it back out there in a hurry. There's that nice crappie there, like 18 feet from the boat, about 8 feet deep. Look at that thing glowing. There's my jig dropping down to it. Right in front of it. Didn't get it far enough to him, so reel it out there and get it right back to him. Alright, there's my jig dropping down. About to get on top of him. Is he going to eat it? Oh, he's turned. He's looking at it. He's interested. Oh, it's only a second or two. Boom, he got it. Yes, 1019. He eyeballed it and had to have it. He's a mean one. Get up in the boat. It's a big old white crappie. Or black crappie, I mean. A mean one. That sucker. That's right, right at 14 inches. 14 inch black crappie. Yes. Oh, there's a nice crappie 20 feet from the boat, 10 feet deep. There's my jig dropping down to it. To get on top of it. Is he going to eat it? He didn't even budge. I don't think he saw it. Get it back to him. In a hurry. There we go. Dropping down to it. Oh, he saw it now. He's turned. He's about to eat it. Is he going to do it? Boom! There he did it. Yes. 10 21. Let me eat it. Let's keep it like crappy. 11 and 3 quarter. Definitely going to put this sucker in the lava. 11 and 3 quarter black. Last ear. There is a nice crappie. 17 feet from the boat. 11 feet deep. There's my jig. I undershot it. Didn't cast it out there far enough. Don't waste time. Get it out there. Back to it in a hurry. There's my jig dropping down to it. It's about 11 feet deep. It's coming right on top of him. He turned. Boom. He didn't waste time. He ate it. Nice. That's the last fish of the day. Get up in the boat. Goodness, look at the size of that. 14, 12, 13, 14 and a quarter. White crappie. Look at that toad. 14 and a quarter. White crappie. Put him in there. That was at 1031. Let's 
like, oh, that's it. Come on, man. Look at that slab well. It's about nine crappie. Two and a half, three hours. One, two, three, four. It's like nine or ten, maybe eleven. There's some good ones. A couple over 14. A bunch over 13. Mmm. Vessus. Hey, bud. Well, we ended up keeping 10. And this wall is 12 and a half inches wide, so those are all some good ones. A couple were over 14. The four on the right are white crappie. And six on the left are black crappie. That one on the far left was 11 and a half inches. Let's clean some fish. Just cut it at an angle like that. Feel your weight to the backbone, and then work your knife along the backbone. Leave the skin attached there, and just cut down the side, just like that. That's how easy it is. On this side, flip them over. Go along that backbone. Work your way down it. Leave the skin attached. Oops. Just that easy. That's a male. Feel on the back one. That's it. Now we got the flays, all you gotta do is cut the bones out. For this part, I like to use a rigid blade like this silver stag knife. They're great knives. Feel along the center there for pin bones. Sometimes there's some in there. That's it. Try not to cut yourself. These silver stag knives are really nice. They hold an edge. I don't know what kind of metal the blade is made out of. I can feel a couple little pin bones in there, so I'm gonna cut those out. That's, man, that's nice fillets. Woo. You can do this with your electric, you know, the bubble blade. I don't like to do it because I think it dulls the blade up and also I end up for some reason wasting meat but this definitely takes longer it's a lot faster if you do this with your bubble blade I'm, uh, or your electric fillet knife somebody's been waiting patiently say Francis there you go look at that mm. tasty Nope. Oh, wait a sec. There you go. Oh wait, gotta rinse that off. Here, here, look, look. There you go. Got a bunch of dirt on there. Here you go. One more. That's it. Just like that. Nine crappies or ten crappies filleted. That's gotta be like probably four pounds, maybe four and a half pounds some nice white fillets if you've never eaten crappie you need to get with it they are delicious thanks for watching Fessus fell in the water he was not happy but Fessus did not get hurt thank goodness thanks so much for watching i really appreciate the support hope you enjoyed the video if you get a chance get out there and go fishing soon see you next time